Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a unique way of using data labels with your charts to create maybe an unusual looking chart that um, might stand out a little bit from the normal charts that you might use. So let's take a look. So here we have um, a list of regions and two years worth of sales data. And I'm just going to highlight that data and use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1 to create a cluster column chart. I'll slide it up there and enlarge it a bit. And I'm going to go into the elements here and pretty much remove all of the elements that are visible on the chart. And just check data labels. Now you notice if I hover over data labels, Excel puts a data label on top of each one of the columns. And if I click the arrow next to it, I can locate my data labels in various positions within the chart. So I'm just going to go ahead and check data labels and go down to more options. Now here, you can see under the label options, there's label contains. And we can add several different items to be included in our labels. For example, I can add series name, and you can see 2013 popped up, and I can add category name, and you can see the region for each one of the columns pops up. Now let me select the other series and do the same, add series name, category name. Now that can get a little bit confusing and it's stretched out that way. So if you look down, there is an item called separator, and if I hit the drop down arrow, there's a new line option. I click New Line, and now Excel stacks those items within that label on a new line. So now they're in a little box up above each one of the columns. So now let's take our chart that we have here and format it and see if we can come up with a unique display of this. Now that I have this series selected, I'm going to go over to the Fill area, select Gradient Fill, and I'm going to leave it at the one that's chosen there. I'll select the other one and go to Gradient Fill, and maybe I'll make this one uh, darker green. While I have that series selected, I'm also going to go over to this area, and I'm going to add a shadow to both of the um, data labels. They add a little bit of emphasis to them. Now let's click on this series. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go ahead and add a shadow to that column. And I'm going to change the color to a solid color here. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Instead, in fact, why don't we make it a gradient color and make it the same color that we made the data label group. And I'll go over to the other group. Um, and go to a gradient color and again choose the same color there and I'm going to add a shadow to this one and this one I think we already have a shadow on. So the only other thing I want to do is change the series overlap and gap width. So I'm going to decrease the series overlap and increase the gap width on both of them to make them look like a, kind of on tall sticks there. So let's close that. And next, I'm going to highlight the chart itself, right click, format chart area, and just say no fill, no line at all. Close that. I'm going to move the chart over a little bit. And I'm going to hide my data. Now watch what happens when I hide the data right click say hide my chart disappears so let me hit control Z there so what I'm gonna to have to do to fix that is go up to the design tab select data and there's a hidden em empty cells option here show data in hidden rows and columns I'll check that say OK and OK now if I hide the data the chart still remains I'm going to move this over a little bit more. Now I'm going to just go up to View, and I'm going to get rid of the formula bar, the headers, the grid lines. And I'm going to click up in my Auto Hide the Ribbon. And there you go. We have a unique floating looking chart that has data labels 
with each item within the label on a separate line, a little shadowing there. You narrow down the columns to make them look unique. And it's just a different way that you can use to display your data without having to have your vertical or horizontal axes, your legends, or any of the grid lines to show where the data falls. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy excelling.